Right. You know, my colleague, uh, the senator from Arizona, uh, speaks and spoke with the authority of a person who committed his life before he came to the United States Senate to the service of our country in the military. I do not speak with that authority. I speak with the gratitude of a citizen who's benefited by the willingness of folks like the senator from Arizona to dedicate their professional life to the defense of our country. In that respect, as a citizen, I speak for what all Americans have come to expect and rely on, and that is the willingness of young men and young women to sign up in service in the military, and among them people who make that commitment that this will be their career. And they do it day in and day out, being ready for whatever may come, being willing to respond to the call of the commander in chief, no matter what that may be. And all of us as citizens who've not worn the uniform can take it for granted that we've got these folks out there. But now what the senator from Alabama is doing is essentially attacking that willingness to serve by pulling the rug out from under people who have dedicated their lives, served with distinction, and earned the promotions for which they've been nominated by the President of the United States. You can't have an organization that functions where you don't have leaders. You can't have an organization that functions when people who've committed their lives to the profession, then when they perform with great distinction, and get that nomination for promotion aren't promoted. It does, as the senator from Arizona met, uh, described, it erodes morale. It erodes effectiveness of the institution. And the cascading effects will be long term. And it is all on the basis of a willful determination to essentially abuse the mil men and women in the military to abuse the military itself for an individual goal that's unrelated to the performance of the military, but has a very detrimental impact on the military. But you know, there's another element here. We're senators, so that's a big position. There's a lot of authority that goes with that job. But can any of us look in a mirror and feel good about the use of that authority when the effect of that power, as it's being used right now, is just flat out mean. It's mean to families. It's mean to kids. You've got folks whose lives are committed to the service of the military. They've been promoted. They're making a plan about taking children out of the schools they're in in getting them into a new school, that's incredibly disruptive. And it takes an immense amount of love and concern on the part of the men and women in the military to make certain that as they get promoted and move on in their career and go from where they are to where the next assignment is, that they take care of those kids. That's incredibly important. And how can a senator take an action that's going to cause so much trauma for innocent people, including the children of these people who've earned the distinction of a promotion. This has got to end. It's got to end. It's got to end because the citizens of this country are entitled to a functioning military, and a single senator cannot intrude or should not intrude on the promotion process. This has got to end so that we show respect for families and the burden that goes along with moving from where you are to the next to the to the next duty station. So I join with my colleagues in calling upon the senator from Alabama to stand down and let us act on these promotions.
Our men and women in the military deserve it. Our military needs it. And the citizens of this country are entitled to it. 